and what they type of business is it? Pushing and pushing, and I'm just fed up with just something else. I mean, you guys are great. This is uh, Mr. Jim Miller. Hi. Oh, hello. Okay. So, do you want to franchise this? Well, what I know about San Bernardino is, it's it's a dying city. It's okay. been trying to die since uh, the Air Force Base closed. Yeah. yeah. San Bernardino County is the highest welfare county in the state. So, those who have money to spend it. Well, they will also sell their food stamps to buy a hooker. I mean, no, I'm serious, yeah. no fin. One thing you want to consider is that from about one block east of here, that's east, over about a mile is what the police department calls Project Phoenix. Okay. The goal and dedication and commitment is to take every drug peddler and every prostitute out. Okay. Yeah, but how, Project Phoenix went to hell. It did. Yeah. Uh, it, it's not existent anymore. Um, they yeah. only use it now to justify the funds that mm. that that the police were given. Because and you it actually involved with that. Yes. So the marketing plan <laughs> is is both the problem and the solution. There isn't enough volume in that kind of a community that you could afford. So you would be competing with all the black ladies who just briefly walk up and down the streets. Mm -hmm. And they're in the 20 to $40 bracket. Yeah, she charges 100 There you go. So you got the right thing in the wrong place. Riverside Corona would be a good place for you. Here you're looking at 75% poverty. Poverty level in Riverside is much, much lower. If you're gonna get the business, you've gotta be out on the street or do it, do it through prospecting but, but if the girls if the girls have a 300 word English vocabulary yeah. then you've got to match them up to the market right? a lot of people that I've run into they don't care whether the girls speak English or not that's right you know? yeah it's utilitarian yeah so it's wham bam there. thank you man have you thought about going to Nevada where it actually is legal it's a good idea I'm just Clark sick County. of traveling but, I mean, it's uh, it's it? across. Yeah, I mean, it's not that far. You know, oh, Vegas is listen, no matter the, 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 the Nevada may be legal when it comes to prostitution, but remember, we're dealing with like 13, 14 year old, right. 14, you know, um, year old girls. It's not legal in any state to have 13 year old girls right. doing anything. doing tricks. Actually, right. Yeah. So granted, because we work. can't afford it unless they're working. This we is can't. the fastest way to make the biggest, the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. Right. I understand that. She wants to run low overhead. Have you been, have any of you been incarcerated? I have. <laughs> no, I mean at least the young people. Yes. I, I don't want to get caught. Well, if you're properly well, funded, you can probably buy your way out. If right? you're in it for, to help girls, there must be some other way to help girls. They're in it for the money. Well, if you're in it for the money, Angel. you're probably yes. gonna yes. you're I probably mean, gonna become victimized by the legal yeah. system just Trying like to the other guy. It maybe as like a spa or something. Well, that's unique. It's very hard to hit a moving target. Right. So if you're constantly relocating, you've got a well, better chance. Well, then maybe what you need is some vans and RVs. A van and an RV. It, well, we were thinking about a school bus. Yeah, that's another that's another possibility. Because you could even set up a 501c3. Or just small even school. a trailer. Small school. Well, that's what she said, a group home. Okay. A group home or a small school, you could do something like that. Well, how, how do you trust someone? I, I, I trust him because I would just stand right up in a court of law and say, I never said that. Yeah. Yeah, you know. But as soon as you leave, I'm going to go over and talk to the both of them and threaten them with their lives because I can kill people. Yeah. And I have a problem with that. <laughs> okay. okay. And I know exactly, I, I do know. And I want you to know that, that um, by the time I'm finished with him, he will think this never happened. Really? Mm-hmm. Is it, like, like it, is it through yeah. your people or like people you know can, can it's do that? Well, me. I, I'm the one that, that, that did my husband. Yeah. With a political agenda. And, and a financial. Like this. And a financial agenda. Yes. 
Well, that goes hand in hand. <laughs> well, you know, a, a diamond in the rough comes by every once in a while. That's good. And, uh, and you guys definitely shine. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember. And it's really, really true. You know, if you love something, set it free. That's the song, if you love something. And if it was in it, and if, if it comes back, then it was, it was yours all along. But if it doesn't, then it never was. The way she had me at the tip of her tongue was ridiculous. Oh, she took my breath. She moved in ways that left her imagination feel a sick and mess. Oh, this chick was the dick, dick, dick. You can mold this into anything you want, into the level of decency or indecency.